Greg Ruff and Coach Chad Hibden along with you. Back-to-back -back wins in conference play. This one, you built the lead early and then just kept adding to it. Yeah, uh, a little sluggish to get started on some things. Uh, but defensively, I thought we were really, really great all, all game long. Uh, and that's where we're going to have to hang our hat uh, the rest of this year. We're going to have to be uh, really good to great defensively, uh, rebounding the basketball, taking care of the basketball. And then when shots go down like they go down like they did last night and, or Thursday night and tonight, then uh, you know, hopefully we can be on that win column a few more times. Absolutely. It feels, it's got to feel good to knock down 13 threes, though. I know you don't want to rely just on the three points. You want to get some points inside. But when the shots are going in from outside, it helps on the inside, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought uh, Sammy did a good job of uh, distributing the ball mm -hmm. and finding the, the hot hand and getting the ball inside out. We, we had some post players get some touches and create some some skips and things like that. And I, I think a lot of our threes were off of multiple sides where we'd get the ball on one side, we'd get it back to another. And uh, you know, So ball movement was, uh, was, was great. Uh, and if you're getting great ball movement and, and you're making threes, then coaches are happy. Sometimes we get a little nervous when that one pass three and you're making them because you know you, you may not continue to make those. But yeah. we, we did a good job of executing the offense and uh, getting the shots we, we needed at the time we needed it. We're going to throw a couple of highlights out there, let you comment about those as well, just about what was going on in the flow, give people an idea of what you see when you when you look at this. Yeah, that defensive breakdown, Pep, you know, having a high IQ and saw uh, the, the two defenders get kind of mixed off, and then she just uh, decided to step up and make a play. There's that drive and separation that Sammy's so good at, and uh, she's, uh, she's starting to elevate her game, which we need. Another drive and a post-touch and then the kick. You know, just another three there. We'll take it off the glass. That counts. <laughs> but you see the ball movement. You know, yep. The ball movement. You know, there's a nice screen to create a drive, to create a kick. Uh, so that's a team three. Abby mm -hmm. put it in. That's a yep. team three there. Rebound, post touch, uh, nice little separation there for Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin's starting to uh, get in a rhythm offensively as well. I know she's been, been wanting that ball to go in a little bit more, and here she is again getting Beautiful. a nice deep post touch. Yep. Uh, and, doing what she can do. She's got the skills to be able to do that, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. Another great screen. Just creates separation, and uh, there she goes. She's, she's got a chance to be a good, nice score for us uh, moving forward. Uh, once again, high post, nice pass, nice cut, uh, just ball movement. And, and those are highlights because those are the times that we score because we did things like drive the ball down, mm -hmm. threw the ball inside to the high post and post. And, uh, when you're getting uh, ball movement, offense tends to be a lot more efficient. All right, going on the road now, and then we come back in two weeks with uh, Lake Erie here. Just talk about the, over the next couple of weeks what you're going to try to do. Yeah, just more of the same. Uh, the focus and uh, intensity defensively of, uh, of being great uh, and uh, continue to do that, and then uh, offensively just staying in a rhythm. Uh, that's what we're trying to achieve. And, you know, got an opportunity over these next couple of weeks to, to, to get healthy. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, we're getting healthier, but get healthier and uh, get some kids that haven't been back and uh, get them some time on the court. And, um, hopefully then, then make a run at this thing. All right. Coach Chad Hibden and the Lady Trojans get the win tonight, and they're back home in two weeks here at the Trojan Fieldhouse. You can get all their action at tnutrojans.com.